Even though I'm KJ from Beard Meets Beers, welcome back. Um, beer review number 28, and this is number 10 in the Location Brewery mini series. Two more to go, but we'll get to them. We'll get to them. Um, yeah, stout. <laughs> if you know by now, or if you may not know by now, um, not the massive stout guy, but I did say I'd been at this a couple of videos. I think it was a couple of videos in that I will try and explore more stouts because of some bangers out there. The more I can see, the more I'm reading about them, and I do feel like I'm missing out. So this little palette of mine needs to get adjusted to proper proper drinks. Um, so yeah, in this one we have the naughty nice chocolate stout. And again, this was picked up from Vocation, and that was pretty good again. Um, it's four forty can, and it comes in at seven point four percent. Which I didn't realise at the time. Um, so that's going to be fun. So right, got something in my eye. If it's the first time you're joining me, hey, thank you very much. I hope you like what you see at the end of this. Um, I hope you subscribe. Again, only causing me more enc encouragement to drink more of these. Um, and if you are returning, thank you very much. As always, I appreciate your time. So, stout. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get cracked in straight away. Because I'm going to try not to take up any more much in time with these videos. I'm going to try and keep it to like 8-9 minutes. Um... Try, I'm going to try, so I'm going to get through as quick as I can. Um, a run through obviously what we are. So again, as I say, naughty nice chocolate stout. Um, I'll run through a little bit of back info. Usually, if it's a drink uh, that has hops in it, I will try and give you the hop profiles that are in it. Um, I, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Crack it open, have a sniff, have a drink, and go in your merry little way. So, quick read it back, get it cracked open, and we'll go in. So where are we? Um, this is our rich, dark, and decisively decadent chocolate stout. All right, mouthful. Uh, uncompromisingly bold and chocolatey. It's a beer to sip and savour for drinking in your favourite armchair and contemplating life. It's a little bit naughty, but very, very nice. Treat yourself. And again, like I say, it's jet black in colour, uh, malt chocolate aroma, warming and smooth taste. Not a massive stout fan, but as I say, gotta give it a go. But I'm looking forward to trying it. If it's going to be it, so far from vocation where I've had, I've not had a bad one. So, here we go. Yep, yeah, I agree. Show me you are, you are getting like, the rich chocolateness on it. <laughs> Don't <go> upstairs. <laughs> yes, you definitely are getting the, the rich chocolate on there. <clears throat> Most importantly, get it poured. That, yeah, like I say, look at this. Shut up. Look at this straight away. I agree, absolutely. It then is jet black. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Can't see nothing through there. Not nice. Normally, we would have whiskey down, but because I do really read my comments and I do reply to you, beat me up, Mitch. You got your wish, mate. No whiskey down in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Normally, it is a little bit worse. Talking it, my whiskey now. No, we aren't. <laughs> yeah, it's all on my hands. Like I say, I thought we were going to get all the froth on there. Man, I apologise if it wasn't what you expected, but <laughs> a video about it. Back to this, though, more importantly. It is, what can I say, it's dripping on me, it is a dream, yeah, <laughs> chocolate, definitely, rich, silky, smooth, like I say, tick, 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 like I say, it, it has got it all there, um, do I agree it's going to be more of a sipping one, yes, could I make that, probably without being sick, no, <laughs> I, I couldn't, but, <clears throat> this it's very tasty. I'm gonna go back in. I've actually don't know if I have a whiskey on me, so sorry. <laughs> it's gone everywhere. See, this is why it's fine whiskey on. <laughs> Slight little biscuit to it. <coughs> biscuit nuts. Biscuitness to it, got that end. Um, 
I think that just complements like the the rich chocolatey flavours that I'm gonna get that I am getting through the drink anyway. As I say, not a massive stout guy. Could I drink this easily? Like I say, I'm gonna get this finished. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna say that though. That's that's gonna go down. Um, if I tried this stout prior to the others, I would be more inclined to jump on the stouts quicker. If that makes sense. But you're not doing like <laughs> you do not like New England. So there's that. Very very tasty. I'm not gonna say anything bad about it because quite frankly I can't. Yeah, it's <laughs> rich, smoothie, chocolatey. I think it's it is good at all there. Like I say. Yeah. It's got a bit of sediment at the bottom of that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That tipping it completely. It is there, like I say, it's all drifting down the bottom of the glass anyway. What are you doing? Ooh. <laughs> Come on, back at him. But yeah, <laughs> apologies. Very tasty drink. Yes, I'm going to admit it, it's very tasty stout. Could I be a convert with this? Oh, definitely. Like I say, hands down, I would, I would not turn this down again. See? I'm learning. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is pretty much... All I can say on that, like I say, it is a different experience for me. And yeah, like I say, I am still getting that like the chocolatey going through my mouth. Like I say, the mouthfeel on it, I can't, I can't say anything bad about it because, like as I say, it's so just so you know smooth, silky. It's just it's all in there. And like I say, when it's in there, it does go all the way around. It is, it does make for a very very tasty drink. Come see, go back in. <laughs> Yeah, very tasty. Right, the whisker dam is coming back. <laughs> it's not going to be, it's not, not going to be used. But yeah, like I say, <clears throat> I will let you go. So thank you very much for stopping by. And again, if it's your first time, I hope to see you again. And if I do, like I say, subscribe, if you want. <laughs> like I say, if you like what you see, give me a little like, drop me a little comment in there. As I say, yes, I do read them. Yes, I will always respond to people. Like I said, the more encouragement I get from you guys, the better. Like I say, it just obviously makes it worthwhile that I know that what I'm putting out there, you know, is, is what you want to see. If there's something that you do want me to do, um, different styles of beer, the Belgian beers, I know there were comment about, about obviously trying to do some Belgians. Again, more of it, I'll, like I said, I'll go to the bottle shop and I'll go, go pick a couple up and do a little Belgian mini series. No, no qualms whatsoever about that. <clears throat> That's tasty. <laughs> But yeah, like I say, people have returned. Thank you very much again. Massively appreciate it. But what I'm going to do, not take up any more of your time. I'll let you all go. So until the next one, take care. Stay safe. Edge out. Cheers.